it's um it's quite late at night i felt i needed to come on because i haven't been on for a few days i just kind of had my head you know yesterday got to a point where i hated my work had all the work out that i'd done over the last two days just sort of spread it out had a look and realized i started off with something achieved something else on the second painting and then progressively got worse and i just felt that i was just starting to be way too controlled so there was me doing my looseness and my you know free approach and then all of a sudden out of nowhere i became extremely rigid i've got cover up and i I'll show you what I mean. So this is like, see that? This is one of the pieces. It's just in the sketchbook, right? It's quite loose. It's a bit like, you know, you can see what it is. Wilting, things are dying. I quite like it, very painterly. Yeah, I like that. What the bloody hell happened here then? Have you seen the state of it? There's everything that I hate about it. There's every fibre of my being right now that wants to cover it up and just start again. However, I wouldn't have noticed that I made this error had it not been for me doing it in the first place. I could paint over it and pretend it never happened or keep it and kind of put it somewhere to remind me that I did it. The bit of state of it. Oh, oh, I hate it. Do you hate it? Oh, God. I know hate is a strong word, but I'm quite a passionate person, as I think we've all gathered. So hate is an appropriate word that I have no bother using on a daily. I like where I've rubbed. So you've rubbed it back. I like that. That's nice. I mean, there's things I like about it, tiny things, like the stone, like the stone, but this and that I hate. It's disgusting. Let me just get you a few things, another piece that I had done, and you'll see the difference. Right, I'm just going to take you with me, so you can see. So this is sort of what I've been doing. You know, you've seen these, you've seen these, so I just did that, right? I did this one really painterly. Do you see how it's all like mushed up and painterly? See what I mean? Lovely. And this one, look at the flower on this one. You can feel it as well. And I think the values on this one are better, which I like. It's, it's still painterly though, you know? And the bars. And the stone and the fish is better in this one. See the difference? To make myself feel better, you might have seen with the radish. I spelled radish wrong. I'm leaning into it. But just to kind of loosen up, I mean loosen up. Right, keep that in your mind. Now look at that. Oh. Do you know what I might do? I might cover it up. Those more experienced might advise me to just keep it, move on, but keep it as like a reminder. And all this like cataloging how far you've come. I feel it's the job of a sketchbook that you can mess around in a bloody sketchbook. I just don't feel this is the place. So I just think this is a waste of a good piece of paper. I've got photos. Take a photo of it. Why do you need the original? I'll be honest. It's making me feel uncomfortable living with it. There we go. Is that one? What the hell is that? Again, bits that I like. So I used my neon colours to get these. See them? I don't mind that. But I feel, again, there's not enough values up here. I might keep it but work on top of it. Look at that flower. Ink 
comparison to the other one. It's way too perfect, really, isn't it? That one's not too bad. Look at all this green. It just seems quite flat. This seems flat. That seems flat. I mean, it's all and, and it's all just too a bit too perfect. So I might throw in a couple of rocks and paint over just to paint into it rather than covering up that thing. Got to go. So cheer myself up. Paint a radish, didn't I? This thing. This was growing alone, alone radish. I think, I think it was out of all the seeds that my sister had given me. What are you looking at? You want the bloody radish again, aren't you? She's looking at the bloody radish. Remember this? Do you remember it? No. She remembers. She went and ripped it out, didn't she? To be fair, it, it, ow, ow. It's got pricklies on it. Did you know that? Oh. Oh, that hurt. Oh, it felt like um, stinging nettles. Sassy radish. That obviously becomes centre stage because I was like, I'm feeling very defeated with those two pieces of work. I thought I was on a roll, really happy with the like painterly effect I was achieving. Now, I get that as artists, as anyone really, we all have a blub. I'm not very good with the blubs. So to cheer myself up, obviously I did the radish poster and misspelt it, leaning into that by the way. There's the radish. So this is called Monday Evening Radish. This is one of my, um, what's it called? It's like a garden in a big jar. My husband bought it for me to cheer me up one day. He spends his life doing that. And obviously my teapot, which is you can, my cream on my meadow in a cream, which is day by day dying. I did document the fact that I had a terrible day yesterday with painting wise. Do you mind? I'm just trying to eat my bloody tripod. Okay. I did choose day radish with this kind of mistake. I'll go and get it. Oh, it looks a bit mental. It's a bit mental. When I take this tape off, it'll be a bit, I think it will kind of clean it up a bit. Oh. I'm just going to go and do this over here. I'll be back in a minute. It's a bit crazy, but I'm, I'm liking it. I like the text. I'm, love it. I'm loving the text at the moment. Yeah, and I'm loving the radish, even though the radish does not look like that now. Plus, I, it's, it's very... Um, <laughs> we've seen better days. <laughs> But that's okay. We'll keep it around for a bit longer. I like the mixed media. I like the marks. Love the text with the speller mistake. I like the reflection like inside the vase. So I'll just show you. This was the setup I had with the jar garden. I've forgotten what it's called. Jar garden and the infamous teapot. I still have the meadow in a creamer that's looking worse for wear, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm just, I've decided I'm going to lean into the, the mess. I like this. A bit crazy, a bit mental, could probably done with a few elements less, but there's a lot I like about it, so I'm going to keep it around. Is it a finished article? No. But does it have the potential to inform future finished articles? Absolutely. Love it. You're going to see that on Insta. Oh, you will have already seen it on Insta and Facebook and TikTok. This abomination was my big fat paintbrush, right? I have decided it's got to go. It's got to go. So it's going. It's got to go. Yeah. Hate it. Okay, 
So I'm going to keep it like that. I don't mind a bit peeping through. Not bothered by that. It's adding character. Either way, I feel I feel a hundred times better about it. Oh, the idea that that was in my life was just too much to bear. So now what we're going to do with this another situation. So there's that one. Then we've got this bad boy. I think I'm probably going to do the same with that. Nope, it's got to go. It's got to go. It's going. Say goodbye. My husband's going to kill me. He really liked those two. What does he know? I spent seven years at art school. I think I'm more than qualified to make these risky decisions. And what's risky about it? Nothing is risky about this, you know? Take a picture. Don't waste the materials, i.e. the paper. Might have wasted a lot of paint, but that's just, you know, repurposed it. You've created surface. So no, I feel good about this. Very, very good. Nothing good was coming. Even if I was to put them in my little folder thing, I would know that they're there. And they would keep me up at night. That's cool. The water soluble neo colours are being activated by the um, paint uh, gesso. That's really cool. That is cool. See, I would never have known that had I not done this. I feel so much better about that. Now we've done that, we can we can move on. I think collectively, as a group, we can move on. Yep, I feel really good about that. We, we all know, come on guys, we all know that needed to happen. It was gonna happen, needed to happen, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is probably a piece in my sketchbook. See you in a mo. What I'm doing is just making the base. So this is all the paint that I've been using and I'm just going to plop it down. So what I'm doing is on the plate, mushing all of it together and then plunking it down on here making a bit of a ground for potential pieces i like the uh when the acrylic dries and creates like this flakiness it creates like this amazing texture on the paper and you can um, work on top of this in, in pretty much any medium, I'll be honest. Now. Have you ever done that when you paint, you accidentally use your tea? I did, I use, I use, I use my tea. Oops. Well, it'll all add to the final piece, I am sure of it. I don't know why, but I'm far more expressive in my sketchbook. I love it. 
I think it suits my personality. Do you know what I mean? You know when you want your work to kind of embody who you are, how you say things. I really want my work to express that, you know. It's really hard to put into words, you know what I mean? I don't know. I want, I want that thing, that thing, and I can't, I, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I will get there, yeah. You get it, you get it. I think you do, you do right, don't you? I'm not being funny, it's my job not to know anything and your job to kind of comment and inform me. Just let you know. Mm. So this is, where do I start? I don't even know. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is a, like a, a bit of a rendition on the wobbly roots that I did a while ago. This under here is the horrendous, the first horrendous teapot with like the peach background. Offensive. Well, Wobbly Roots has taken over. I decided to, to get back on with the inks, which I've done, added the, like added some new colours. I just love them, love the ink so much. Um, I didn't really think about it, just went at it. I should have really filmed it, sorry. I kind of just get so consumed. I love the text, so I'm gonna nick one of Sandy Hester's. I know I bang on about her, but I don't care. You either like it or you don't, that's not my problem. Sorry, that came across quite aggressive. <laughs> Look, to those of you who have met me in real life, it should come as no surprise. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna put the name of the piece on the piece. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go with the whole wobbly roots, but I'm gonna do it out of oil pastels because I really like drawing with them. Um, and I can overlap them and stuff. Right, but I don't know. I'm so and real dyslexic fashion as well, is I spelt wobbly wrong, even on this. So I've, I started out, you know, I started out with this one, this, this kind of color, and I put the L in, fine, right? But then I got to this color, which was way down the bottom of the page, right? Forgot that I had missed the L out, so I ended up with this, which I really, really like. Having to put the L back in, in the different colour. It's just so me. Love it. So I might do that, but again, I don't know what colour. So I saw in Sandy Hester's idea of making cutouts. She does it with like fruit and things, or if she doesn't know where to place stuff on her canvas, she would she quite often cuts things out and makes things so she doesn't paint it in. Which I think is a great idea. I'm loving this because it's quite minimal. Do you see that? Right, which is the, it is the, it's a bit of a happy accent. This is yellow gray. Sorry if you can't, yellow gray. Um, and, and and then obviously this, this green. It is a happy, oh God, one second. Sorry about that, to go and deal with something. I think, I really like that. So we've got that one. Um, then I thought, oh, well, why don't we do it with a similar colour? Hmm. Possibly. Um, the other similar colour. Hmm. Hmm. Um, or maybe a more of a, an organic. Where did I put a pink one? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Hmm. Or pink, no, don't like pink, decided, no. More of a radish, radish colour. So, I, oh, I don't know. I really like, I love that. Um, no to that. Right, made that decision. Um, so it's that. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. First one, brilliant. See, see how simple that was? Marvellous. Right. I am going to do the L in the colour because I just think that's quite organic. I think I made the letters too big. Oh. And this isn't dry. Oh. Great. It's missing something, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. 
I maybe I made it too big. Yeah, I think I made it too big. Right, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll try and oh, ugh, making it worse. So I'm just going to rub it out quickly and make it smaller. Right, what did I do? A bit of that. Bit of that. Dub of that. See if we can't get this colour back again. Ooh, a bit more of that. Oh, that's fine. Sorry, I know I'm blocking you. Sorry. Right. So the idea is, put a bit of that in there. I'm just mixing up the kind of colour and just sort of making a bit more of a... That's a bit too thingy, isn't it? Make it a bit more intentional rather than trying to hide things. Does that make sense? Just trying to put back some of those marks that I have lost. I don't really mind it. It's just, um, they were quite nice. Knock this back a bit. Nope, more. Just trying to plonk these sort of little things in. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, do we do we like that? It's like a bit of a waterfall there. Come on, I'm, I'm not offended by it. I'm putting some of these drips back in because I really do think that they, they do something and I don't know what it is. I really enjoy them. Cool. Right, so I'm gonna plonk that back in. Do you know what? Part of me, right, I know this is gonna sound mental. Part of me just wants to use the actual thing. No, I bloody ruined that now, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, do you know what, right? Last night, you obviously won't see this, but last night someone had posted on, like commented on my YouTube saying about like a nifty trick of removing the artist tape and using a hairdryer. You know, and I even said to her last night, I said, I'm going to, I'm assuming it's a her. If it's not, I'm really sorry, they. I said to them la the last night that I was going to, you know, dust off the old hairdryer and use it for today because I had to, do that with some of the pieces. Did I? No, I didn't, did I? I'm useless. I'm absolutely useless. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just nift this in really small and then hopefully it will be better. But a part of me does just want to just do that. I don't know, there's something quite playful about that, isn't there? I don't know, I'll decide, you'll find out. He tried to grow some bonsai, my husband, and there was like six of them. And he, they, it, the, the instructions asked him to start them in this, click, click, these polystyrene cups and put them in the fridge for three weeks until they germinate and then bring them out and put them on a seal, etc. right? He did all of that. Um, they did not germinate. So he brought them out. Anyway, we thought they were dead. Well, in fact, they were dead. They were, nothing was happening. Don't know why, he was so upset. Oh, bless him, I hate when he's upset. Yeah, it came with these blocks of soil. And I thought to myself, I said to him, don't get rid of that, that's useful. And one day I decided, I just kept it on my little table out there. And on one day I decided to grow him a sunflower to cheer him up just sort of use that soil in the bonsai pot and thought, oh, grow him a sunflower, I'd be dead happy with that. And that's what I did. And that's what you saw, the sunflower. Since then, however, the seeds that were once dead have started to germinate. So now I've got this bonsai pot with four bonsai trees and a bloody sunflower. What am I gonna do with that? what to do.